Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Uh, so it's the end of another month and it is time to share my empties. So today I will be sharing my home fragrance empties for the month of March. Um, honestly, I got through a lot more than I think I have in previous months, uh, even though this was like the shortest month out of the year. I mean, it's a leap year, so we do get an extra day in February for this year. But yeah, I'm really impressed with everything that I was able to finish up this past month. And every time that I get an empty of like a home fragrance product, it just brings such joy to my heart knowing that I am inching just a little bit closer to my goal of whittling my candle collection down to a more reasonable amount. I've actually gotten it down to an amount where it allowed me to take all of the candles that I, I used to keep a lot of my homeworks candles in these little cubbies behind me, but I was able to empty all of them out because <laughs> I had whittled down my collection enough to be able to move everything into the closet in the hallway. If you're curious about my homeworks candle collection, if you're curious about where any of my candle collections are, at least as far as like <clears throat> the beginning of the year, I did film my uh, candle collections, which I do at the start of every year, uh, several weeks ago. So I'll try to remember to link those in the dis in the description box down below. But um, yeah, I did one for Homeworks, for Kringle, for Scentsy, for Bath and Body Works, just and then also like a random collection. So if you missed any of those, um, I'll go ahead and link those down below. Also, uh, in the description box down below, I will go ahead and list and link wherever you can find any of the things that I'm showing here. I do have a discount code with both Homeworks and Kringle. Both of those will save you 15%. They're different for each company, but I will put the information again in the description box down below. Uh, those usually work with most sales, so save yourself an extra 15% when you're checking out. Um, I'll put Candle Crock 101, Candle Lamp 101. I combined those into one video um, last year. So um, if you're not familiar with either of those two uh, like candle accessory concepts, um, I will be talking about them in this video, so make sure that you follow, uh, follow along with that video to learn a little bit more about them. I also list and link some really great crocs and lamps in the description box as well. So she is always a plethora of information for you, so if something gets missed in the video, in all likelihood, there's probably information about it in the description box. So you guys, um, there's a lot to discuss this month. Like there is a ton of candles here. So um, I'm gonna try to be as efficient as possible and try not to spend too much time on any of these given scents. I think the best reviews of a any given product are usually empties reviews. You're going to see wax still remaining in a lot of these candles. Um, for example, like this one, oh, there goes garden bouquet. Um, like this one here looks like, wait, you didn't burn that at all. And I didn't, I put it in a candle crock. So um, yeah, I never lit this one. It just literally started and ended its life in a candle crock. Um, so yeah, if this is why I say watch that video if you're not familiar with either of those two. This candle is in fact done. Um, there's no fragrance oils left in it. So um, yeah, anyway. Okay, um, I'm gonna start grabbing and um, just giving some brief final thoughts. All of these candles should have in-depth reviews already in terms of strength and throw. So if you wanna know more about them, you can easily search them up on my channel. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, you guys. First of all, let's, uh, I guess, go with what I just grabbed here. This is uh, Kringle Candle Pomegranate Punch. This was a uh, holiday type release last year for Kringle. I really actually like this scent. Um, I, uh, I burned this in the three wick completely through. It's not so much a holiday scent for me. I know that pomegranates typically, you know, they're present a lot during uh, the holidays, especially during like Thanksgiving, you see a lot of dishes with pomegranates or even around Christmas time, you see a lot of pomegranates being consumed, pomegranate cocktails, all that kind of fun stuff. So um, I think the this particular fragrance did make sense for the holidays, but it was just a really kind of nice fruity one for me. So it was also a nice one to bust out and put into the candle crock in my master bedroom during the month of February. Loved it, performed incredibly well in the crock. It would have burned just fine, but honestly, I am trying to also whittle down just a little bit of my Kringle candle collection. 
went a little ham with Kringle over the course of the last year, so I need to rein that in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard, you guys. Um, okay, we're gonna just stick with uh, Kringle for now because a lot of that is what's on top. Okay, burn this one completely all the way down. You can see there is no wax left. This is Kringle Reserve California Cab. If you love a beautiful, really authentic grape scent, um, to me this smells more like a Concord type of grape. Um, I could see also maybe like a Pinot grape as well. Um, definitely a darker, you know, red grape for sure. But anyway, this was delightful and it burned like a champ. All of these latest reserve uh, candles, like the sweet cream, the, um, the sprinkled macarons, I'm sure uh, Silk Sheets is in here, the Midnight Rose, I finished a lot of these this month. Um, but they were so much stronger than previous Kringle releases. So um, Kringle I know is really big on uh, instituting and incorporating changes if, uh, if they notice a trend in terms of feedback about certain products. And that is, I think, an amazing thing because a lot of candle companies, you know, they'll get complaints or they'll get feedback or, you know, constructive criticism, whatever you want to call it. And they're just like, okay, thanks. And then they never do anything about it. <laughs> but I do feel like Kringle actively listens and we can see those changes happening. So I just, I appreciate that. But anyway, I love this scent and I am not a great person. I enjoyed this so much that I burned it the whole way down. I burned this inside. I burned it outside in the backyard. It was just lovely all around. Fire. Okay, this Kringle Reserve candle came out a very long time ago and this was one that I've been burning in the backyard for um, probably over a year. I know it sounds weird to say I burned it in my backyard, but we have a covered patio that we treat almost like uh, a second living room in our house. We usually actually spend more time out there, especially in the spring and summer than we do inside of our house. Um, but we're out there even during the fall and the winter. It's covered. We have a beautiful stone fireplace. It's really warm out there when the fire is going. It's just lovely. And I like having home fragrance out there as well. And fragrances like this fire here, which is a smoky hearth type scent, um, definitely for me. I don't like these in the house. Um, so I burn them outside. So anyway, burn this for a very long time. Um, I really enjoyed it outside. It's a really nice smoky, like I said, hearth type scent. Um, I don't think this one is er like even still available right now, but if it ever comes back and you like those types of fragrances, I would definitely recommend checking that out. And it was also um, like quite potent in terms of its strength and throw as well. So a good one. Silk Sheets, this is also a part of the recent Kringle uh, release. By the way, I did receive all of these Kringle candles from this latest reserve launch um, as PR, just so you guys are aware. But Silk Sheets was another one. I loved burning this one in our master bedroom. We had a power outage in January. We had this like snow and ice situation. So I burned a lot of these Kringle candles during that time and they just, they burn for hours, you guys. Um, I can leave Kringle candles burning for hours and hours on end and they never develop issues like getting sooty, the wicks never disintegrate so there's no puny wick syndrome. They're just, they're just a, a joy to burn. There's never any problems. <laughs> they're just so good. So these were the candles that I took out during that, you know, power outage, which we had the power out for a couple of days. And I just kept these going nonstop. They added a little bit of extra warmth to the house and um, made our house smell like a million bucks while we were freezing. <laughs> anyway, um, Fairy's Floss. Okay, this was another one that started and ended its life in the crock. I did take the wicks out of here. I actually want to see if I can get this label off. This is definitely um, something that my daughter would love to hold, like her makeup brushes or something. Um, my daughter is... 12 so we're still into you know like sparkly fun things so um i did love this iridescent glass from the fantasy collection fairy's floss i think is still available or is it mermaid scales fairy's floss might be sold out but from that fantasy collection the uni unicorn poop is still available as is the um what's the other one mermaid scales duh loved fairy's floss i still have several more of those i'm tempted to put another one into the crock but i have some bath and body works candles that are getting ready to need a home <laughs> 
they're just not working out super well for me so my crocs will be probably be busy with those so but maybe i'll bust out another one of those maybe in like april or something okay we have blood orange and sage gimlet from homeworks this was a pr item i loved it you guys i loved it so much that i want to repurchase it i cannot repurchase it now i'm doing so good with like not doing the backup situation when it comes to homeworks i am however ordering some new candles um if i can get them from dot, dot shop with just like a single purchase i do that but there are some scents that are coming to qvc that are not i don't think are coming to dot shop so um you know i figure like i'm just just gonna buy my qvc which does mean a set of two but I don't know i'm really interested in some of these scents from homeworks so it's fine whatever but anyway i'm not allowed to purchase backups as of right now not until i get my homeworks collection whittled down even more and i'm doing really good with it you guys i'm i'm really pleased with myself i'm actually grabbing a couple of more candles to bring down to my candle lamps just some basic vanillas that i know i can melt basically any time of year and i just have a lot of I, you would not believe how many of these Christmas cupcake candles I bought a couple of years ago. It, they're in a beautiful hobnail, but I just, I bought too many. I don't know what I was thinking. So irrational. Anyway, oh, I grabbed, oh, I went to a different brand. Anyway, that homeworks, it, that's a really great blood orange scent. The whole garden party collection, by the way, has done quite well for me in terms of performance. Okay, Midnight Rose. This is another one that I finished. This one I actually burned outside quite a bit over the course of the last couple of weeks. It's been really lovely. We've had some warm, like um, very spring-like days and this has been lovely out back. It just smells like a beautiful rose garden. It's stunning. And if you're looking for a lot of strength and throw when it comes to a, um, to a Kringle Reserve scent, de would definitely recommend that one. Sinful, okay, so I think my review of Sinful, it may have just gone up, I think it, I think it did, it went up yesterday. So if you're curious about what my thoughts were on this, finally, because I, bu I bought it last year. <laughs> I don't do it forever. Um, I just put a video up of this. So I really like this chocolate scent, you guys. It does have like just a hint of like a peanut butter to it as well. And this like ever so slight perfuminess. If you'll remember back to like the old school Goose Creek days, this was back when I still purchased Goose Creek. I don't anymore. Um, but they had a scent called peanut butter sugar. And I feel like that like slight perfuminess that was in peanut butter sugar is also in here as well. It's It actually works out really well. I love this one. I would repurchase it. You can still get it now. Um, it is one of the few reserve candles that has not you know sold out okay here we have royal cherries i loved royal cherries i burned it to the halfway point and then i was going to keep it for this summer but i decided that i wanted it up here in this back filming room just to be able to enjoy it this smells a lot like tom ford lost cherries and i wanted something perfumey for back here this fit the bill so it was in this candle crock probably for three weeks you guys i got so much life out of this and i do not turn my candle crocks off at night those are like a 24 7 thing until the fragrance has dissipated from the wax so um yeah big fan of that would definitely repurchase for sure blueberry violet tart i love this one now i bought this one in a set of two from qvc and then I wasn't, I, I wasn't aware that we were getting PR from Homeworks, and so they sent me another one of these, and I was actually really glad they did because I loved this, and um, you know I wanted definitely like one or two more for this summer, so I'm gonna save these for the slightly warmer weather months um, coming up here soon, but. Blueberry Violet Tart Man. That violet note in here, it sounds a little bit random and like it wouldn't be good, but it was delightful. I loved it. This was a candle that um, started and ended its life in a candle crock. Oh, here's my assistant. Where have you been? Where have you been? I have had to do all of this work by myself. Oh my goodness, you guys. The boss has arrived. Anyway, um, Coastal Sands this looks funky so um i didn't pour off the last layer of wax when i melted this um please don't snot in my face um when i melted this underneath my candle lamp um so yeah that's why that last layer of wax in here so with a candle lamp you're melting layer by layer um this candle was insanely strong each layer seemed to last for like days and days and days 
all of my candle lamps have eight hour timers on them and i would typically do like two eight hour melting sessions a day with this and each layer i mean lasted at least a week like i just got so much fragrance out of this bad boy i could have totally burned it but again i'm just trying to whittle this collection down and the easiest way for me to do that is to not only burn them but to also melt them at the same time Homeworks candles will not fit inside of a crock, obviously, so that's why I lamp the Homeworks, and um, that's been working out really great. Are you comfortable now? Okay. Sarah, I can't even believe that you didn't come up at first. She's just working up by myself up here. Okay, uh, ice blueberry pie. <clears throat> Did you guys notice the change that uh, Harry brought to Scentworks? So I thought for a second, I thought for a hot second that Scentworks might be going away because I didn't see them at Kohl's. However, I believe they're back at Kohl's now. I think that Scentworks is probably also one of those candles that could potentially show up at a place like CBS. Um, I think that Harry has been seen at um, Walmart headquarters as well. So um, he has teased some things. Um, I have to admit, I was never really into Scentworks, but after seeing the design of the new jars, I'm even less into scent works. Like I feel like he just made the jars look generic and kind of cheap. Um, there are two sizes available now, which I know was appealing to a lot of people, but he had a really good situation with these jars. Um, I mean, these were beautiful, right? Like that shape, the thickness of the glass, like these were just really great jars. Um, also, the candles are now, instead of, these were made in the U.S., um, I believe they're now made in um, the Dominican Republic, um, so just something to be aware of. Um, I'm not sure what went into that decision, but, I mean, it's business, so I'm sure numbers were involved. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I probably won't be purchasing any of the new Scentworks stuff. Homeworks may be generous enough to send the ambassadors, maybe some of those new Scentworks candles in the future, but I don't know. I'm certainly not clamoring myself to, you know, get to a Kohl's and stock up anytime soon. I'm still happy to purchase Homeworks. That was where I started with Harry, you know, when he came to QVC in 2017. Um, and it's still, it's still my favorite out of the brands that he has like created post, you know, just coming out with homeworks. Like the Club 92, no interest in that at all. Um, the Aroma Works, I mean, I have a Home Depot not far from me. I'm sure I could pop in store and check out the Aroma Works, but I don't know, I don't, I don't like those jars as much. They just, they don't look as nice. I feel like the fragrance profiles aren't as like sophisticated or I, they just don't sound as nice. So anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what yours is. Um, okay, Vanilla Cherry Blossom. Look, look, all of this wax like dissipated out of here. This is also a part of, this is a repackage, but this was a part of the Garden Party collection. And this burned like a champ and it was such a beautiful, soft, not like super powdery, but definitely a softer cherry blossom scent. Um, just really lovely. I'm actually kind of bummed that I skipped out on this for so long because, again, this isn't a new scent. But in the past, I've just always thought like, I bet that smells like um, Japanese cherry blossom. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't smell anything like that. Okay, here's another candle, a homeworks candle. I took the label off of this one because this was Christmas sugar cookies. Didn't really want that um, showing, so just peeled the label off of here. Anyway, this is the last layer of wax at the bottom, so this one obviously also started and ended its life underneath a lamp, and um, yeah. Sorry, iced sugar cookie, there we go, because I could have looked at the bottom. Um, not Christmas sugar cookie, that's a different scent, but yeah, this one did great underneath the lamp. Um, enjoyed it. Probably would repurchase. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but... It's a nice scent. What is this? Oh. oh, you guys, I finally did it. This was the oldest candle in my Bath & Body Works candle collection. This is vanilla cedar wood from back in 2013 when our Bath & Body Works candles were 20 bucks a pop. 20? They should have never gone beyond $20. Like, I don't understand the current price point. I don't understand the current price point. It's wild. At least based off of like 
the performance, which is still very much hit and miss. Like I'm having luck with some of the candles, but some of the other ones I'm just like, ah, fix, fix the stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Bath & Body Works is one of those candle companies that really doesn't have to take feedback. We're all just gonna buy their stuff anyway. So why, why should they change anything? <laughs> it's true, you know it, it's true. Okay, vanilla cedarwood, I love this scent. This is a like warm, cozy, uh, like amber cashmere type of vanilla. Loved it, would repurchase, burned like a champ. And in fact, it, even the last little bit, I poured the wax out to put it into one of my Scentsy warmers. So good, but I'm definitely glad that I finally got to enjoy that one because I've been hanging on to it since 2013. It's 2024. What was I doing? What was I doing? What we all do, just hoarding the good stuff. Use the good stuff, you guys. Okay, this is Let's Toast. Um, this one burned just fine. It's a three wick. Um, I don't love the three wicks. I, this was a PR item. I don't purchase these uh, Homeworks three wicks myself. Uh, again, I really prefer the four wick format. I don't know why they're doing three wicks. I really wish they would just stick with the four wicks for homeworks um, and larger. I mean, I do enjoy the Lux candles as well. Lux Toast is a nice fruity scent, performed incredibly well the whole way down. No complaints there. Um, Happy New Year. This was a nice kind of fruity one. This one did have a little bit of discoloration on the very last burn, if you can kind of see that on the outside of the wax there. But pretty much the whole way down, it was great. Um, this is again kind of another like fruitier option for the start of the new year. Um, yeah, nice. I liked it. I mean, is it something that I'm clamoring to get more of? Not necessarily, but it was a decent performer. Um, oh my gosh, we just keep going. Knit sweaters. Okay, this was a part of the winter collection. I really enjoyed this one, you guys. This was mostly a either laundry room or um, you can see that one did pretty darn well there. Um, this was either a laundry room or a uh, like powder room scent. Really nice cashmere scent, really lovely. There's a nice, I feel like, dose of sandalwood in here as well. Just beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a crinkle soy candle, so lovely scent. Nothing to complain about. Okay, Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. I really like this. It reminds me a lot of the Henry Bendel Vanilla Bean, um, but it's a little bit lighter than what I'm used to with the Nest candles. It is a vanilla, so that's not unusual, but at the same time, I just wish I had a little bit more oomph behind it. But I would probably repurchase it. I would love to get it in a larger format, but I just don't trust that a three wick or that a luxe size of something like that wouldn't, um, you know, get dirty and worse on me. Speaking of uh, Bath & Body Works candles that I have had for all ages, is my camera gonna die? Oh geez, we might have to. We might have to split this footage. <laughs> um, this is Crimson Velvet. Does anybody remember this collection? It was the Intrigue and Opulence collection. I kept calling it the Moroccan collection. That's not what it was. It did have the Moroccan Amber within the Intrigue and Opulence collection, but it was not called the Moroccan collection. <laughs> I just made that up, okay? This one came out in 2014. Um, this one retailed for $34.50. I know I didn't pay that for this. I got these on clearance. I think I got them for like 15 bucks each. I do have one more that is in my backup collection. I will use that one next January or February. This, just lovely, so nice. And look how just the beautiful touches, like, I don't know, I feel like Bath & Body Works, you know, I don't know, they, they've had some cute lids. They've had some, I don't know, but I, they have cute stuff. I shouldn't say anything, but I did really enjoy the packaging of this. I will say this lid was never on here super tight. There's no light, you know, but this, it, it held the fragrance in here for all these years. I mean, that was what, a 10 year old candle? <laughs> Another old candle that I've had in one of the powder rooms up here forever. Well, one of the bathrooms, it's not a powder room, is this Aquies. Do you guys remember when we were all into Aquies? This is the Aquies Boardwalk Candle. Kind of a gourmand, um, a little bit of like a caramel type note, but also an, a little dose of like a coconut in here, maybe some salty beachy ocean air. This one was quite light. Um, it was literally just sitting like this without a lid. This never came with lids. Uh, in, a, in a bathroom in our, in our house here, just <laughs> collecting dust. Finally, I decided to start burning it and um, it was nice. Still had a little bit of fragrance left in it. 
Um, I do enjoy those Aquias jars. They're like a nice thick glass. Is Aquias still being sold? Let me know. Well, this does not belong in here. <laughs> Ooh, we have another Homeworks. We have a vanilla bean macaron. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is this is like one of my all-time favorite fragrances from Homeworks. And um, it, I just hope it sticks around forever. It really does have a beautiful um like almond note in it um but it's mostly like just a delicious vanilla like a gourmand edible vanilla it's yummy big fan okay uh one more candle and it's a bath and body works oh and it's another one of my older oh, peppered plum no this one was only from 2017 but held off on burning this one for a really long time this is like a maybe even darker version of their into the night or dark kiss fragrance i feel like um same type of vibe almost but really pretty um i really like this one so um i think it was also supposed to be a repackage of what was that one <sighs> smoked berries and incense mm -hmm. that was a good one wasn't it smoked berries and incense wasn't that also in the entry and opulence collection maybe by the way this guy is snoring so that might be what you are hearing in the background okay listen i have a bunch of wax melts here um, I also have, there's, it's sitting over here. I'm not going to reach for it. It is the Garden Bouquet from Homeworks. Um, I just reviewed that one as well. I think actually that review may have gone up yesterday. So um, I finished it since filming that video. Um, it did great the whole way down. Fabulous. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the battery and I'm going to come back and we're going to run through all of these wax melts. There's quite a few in here. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, friends, we have a full battery and we have a bucket of uh, empty clamshells. These are all from Scentsy. I love Scentsy. I don't sell it. I buy all this crap from my best friend, Lisa. Um, I love supporting her. So if you are in need of a consultant, uh, Lisa's information is always in the description box down below. But you can also just find a Scentsy consultant by going to the main Scentsy website and putting in, I think it's like your zip code or something and they will send you a list of all of the consultants in your area and you can see if there's someone that you, I don't know, feel a connection with and yeah, hopefully they have stuff on hand for you to, you know, smell in person. Um, Lisa lives in Idaho, I live in Oregon, so I don't smell a lot of this stuff in person, but she knows me inside and out and knows all of my scent preferences on top of that. So I always rely on her to tell me, oh, you're not gonna like that, don't bother. <laughs> And she knows a lot of her customers as well uh, also. So I don't know, just get in touch with someone you really feel a connection with and that way they can help you um, with your purchasing decisions. Maybe if you are not able to um, get to a person to be able to smell this stuff in person. Okay, listen, we have, um, we have a couple of holiday things in here. <laughs> These are bricks that I purchased uh, during the month of December. Um, I have forever flannel and I have a uh, candy apple here. So um, these uh, both came in this Christmas tree packaging here. Forever Flannel is a, uh, this is quite a perfumey uh, scent to my nose, almost like a soft, powdery, like laundry type scent, but perfumey at the same time. This is really nice. It's definitely the type of scent that I would really only enjoy warming during the month of like January. Um, maybe into you know the beginning of February, but this is a very specific type of scent for me. It's definitely not a year-round thing. Um, but this was this was delightful. Would I repurchase it in the future? Maybe. I don't think I need a brick of it though. I think the brick was a bit much, but they're so cute, right? These are so cute. I love when they do like the different shapes. Okay, candy apple. I swore that I was gonna save this for September of this coming year. Um, I like candy apple scents during the you know beginning of the fall months. It just reminds me of going to the Puyol Fair when I was growing up. Um, both caramel and candy apples, one of my favorite treats as far as fairs go. Um, but I was kind of craving this. <laughs> I was craving something fruity and fun. And this also has, again, a slight perfuminess to it. It doesn't sound like it would fit with, you know, the candy apple portion of this, but like it, it does, like it just kind of works. Anyway, this was really fresh and fruity and fun and just a nice change of pace during, you know, the beginning of um, February. So yeah, this was nice. I, I would, I would repurchase candy apple in a brick if it came around again, for sure. The forever flannel, 
Yeah, I can get that in a bar if it's available, but I don't need a brick of it. Okay, turn up the pink. Was this the breast cancer collection from October? I think it may have been part of that. I don't know if these are still available. Very sweet candy, slight hint of floral with this one. Performed incredibly well, loved it. Um, cranberry mango. Okay, I liked cranberry mango. This was part of the most recent Bring Back My Bar from January of this year. I like this scent a lot. It's an interesting combination because to me, cranberry is much more like fall and winter and mango is very much like a summertime fragrance, but they do work really nicely together. But I only got like a day out of this before I was like, where's the smell? <laughs> like this one just dissipated crazy fast. I've got a couple in here that I really only got a day's worth of melting out of. And for me, the norm, I usually change my wax out like every two to three days sometimes. Well, a lot of times lately I've been leaving my warmers on 24 seven. I need to stop doing that because I don't know if you guys have checked out your electricity prices. <laughs> Ours are kind of high right now. I knew that there was a rate hike coming. Um, our power company let us know that the rates would go up in January. This is just something that they have done periodically over the years. It's just a thing, it sucks, but it is what it is, uh, freaking inflation. So um, anyway, I need to start turning off my warmers at night because I'm just like, we need to save every little bit of electricity that we can. Now my Sensi warmers only have a max of like 25 watt bulbs in them, but still, because I have so many of those dang things around the house, it's probably contributing a little bit to that bill. So you know, we're gonna get better about turning the lights off. But anyway, uh, back to cranberry mango. Yeah, it's just like a one day and done. That's not the norm for me with Scentsy, so that was a little bit of a letdown. Blackberry Spice, this was left over from, I think it was last fall. It's, it's a nice scent, quite spicy um, for a blackberry, but it, I don't know, it was okay. It's not one of those scents where I was like, ooh, I must have more of that. Um, confetti Showers, this was part of the Mardi Gras collection. Super fun collection, by the way, I really enjoyed it. This is very fruity. Um, I got a good performance out of all of these. Um, King Cake was also a part of the Mardi Gras collection. Um, this smells just like King Cake. You get like a dough and like a cinnamon sugar kind of concoction here. It smelled good. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. In fact, if you, this was a really nice one to blend with almond croissant. It's delicious if you're looking to blend that one. Okay, here's another disappointing one. This was also, I think, part of this recent point by my bar, lots of lavender. So here's the funny thing. I, I don't like lavender. I've said that a lot. Um, I, and I don't think that I ever will, but this had quite a bit of something else in it, and chamomile, it turns out. So I think I'm smelling a lot more chamomile than I am lavender here, but this was another one where after about a day, I was just like, where's, where's the snap? It's just gone. So wouldn't repurchase this one, but worth a try, worth a try. Definitely in terms of like lavender fragrances, that is the most enjoyable lavender that I've ever had. Um, I know everybody loves lavender. I don't like, my nose hates it. It smells very astringent to my nose. The like pink lavender espresso that everybody loves from Bath and Body Works. I can't do it, you guys. I stuck my nose in it so many times because those of you who also don't like lavender were like, I swear, it's not all lavender. But it's all that I can smell when I when I smelled it in store. Like I wouldn't even wanna like, like I feel like it would be a waste of money for me because I would probably burn it once and be like, oh, yep, there's lavender. And then I would feel bad returning it. <laughs> I just want to avoid that guilt altogether, I think is the moral of the story. So yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not a lavender person. I wish I was. I will tolerate pineapple before I will tolerate lavender. That's how much I dislike it. We all know how I feel about pineapple too. Uh, Candy Orchard, this was fragrance of the month with Scentsy for, I think it was January. I like this. I like this a lot. Very sweet, very, it, yeah, it smells like candy. I can't think of, maybe like a sweet, whoa, sweet tarts? Kind of smells like sweet tarts. Delicious, good performance. Um, perfectly cute. This is a springtime pear. I don't know how Scentsy did it, but they came out with like a springy pear scent. This smells so good. I'm not, I'm not usually into pears. I love apples, pears aren't always my favorite, but this is a great pear. If you can get your hands on this, great performance, delightful. Toasted caramel sugar. I thought I was gonna put this in my club, but I mean, it was fine, it was nice, warming. It definitely smells like toasted caramel sugar, but I don't know, not horrible worthy for me. 
God, there's a lot in here. Uh, I pick you. This was part of the Valentine's collection, I believe. Um, I didn't care for this scent as much. I feel like there's quite a bit of currant in here, and I'm not a huge fan of currant myself. At least red currant. Sometimes black currant is a little bit more enjoyable for me, but just straight up red currant. I don't know, and that's what I smell in here. Caramel sugar cone. Okay, I know, I'm pretty sure this was part of the last Bring Back My Bar as well. I really like this one. This actually smells, you know what this smells like to me? Yankee Candle Sugared Apple. That's what this smelled like. It didn't smell like a caramel sugar cone necessarily. It smelled like, it smelled like sugared apple from Yankee. So, I don't know. Let me know if you agree with me. Anybody remember Sugared Apple? It actually came back this last holiday season at Kringle, not Kringle, Yankee. They're kind of connected, so anyway. Um, confetti showers again, a couple of those. Pink leather, okay, this was part of just finishing some stuff up from the end of January. Like pink leather. This has a really beautiful perfumey leather note to it, very light. Um, Velvet Moon, I think this was another Bring Back a Bar. I don't like it. This one smells like oddly powdery. I didn't like this one at all. And I think I detect some lavender in here too. Um, I pick you. We already discussed that. Just a few more guys, I promise. Simply the zest. <sighs> Listen, I love this. Um, I haven't put it in my club yet. I don't even know if I still can. But uh, if I can still get a couple six packs of this, I think I might do that instead of clubbing it. I really like this one a lot. I know this was part of a trio. I don't remember what trio this was a part of. God, I'd be a terrible consultant. <laughs> That's why I don't sell it. I can't remember anything anymore. So um, anyway, it smells like a really delicious concoction of all of the best citrus. Um, you get like a delicious orange, you get like a clementine in here, a little bit of lemon. No lime, thankfully. I don't smell lime in here at all. I, I don't like lime either. Um, but yeah, that is great if you haven't gotten it. Happy birthday, um, it's in my club. Here's another perfectly cute. Happy birthday is my holiest of holy grail scents besides almond croissant from Scentsy. Um, happy birthday smells like funfetti birthday cake to my nose. Although my mind was blown when um, people started telling me that they actually smell marble cake from Happy Birthday. Uh, that blew my mind. I was like, how do you smell that? It smells like fun fake birthday cake. But every nose is different, you guys. Every nose is different. Okay, we have Blue Grotto, which smells like Capri Blue Volcano. I always get a great performance out of this one. And Street Parade, this was another part of the Mardi Gras collection. I like this. this fun, nice, fruity, cut and somewhat generic scent, but nice, enjoyable. Not, obviously not a repurchase, obviously not club worthy, but who you guys, there we go. That is everything. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you finished over the month of February. I feel really accomplished here and I am ready for March to, my goal is, here's my goal for March in terms of homeworks candles. I want to finish eight homeworks candles. That's my goal. Did I finish eight this time around? No. So that's gonna be a big goal. Can I do it? Gosh, I hope so. I'm getting so close to being able to like move more things into that closet. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow for my beauty empties. All right, toodaloo.